by the time of the election of 1816, the Republican Party is basically the only party. The Federalists are more or less dead. Whoever they put up is just going to get slammed at the at, at the polls. They might scrape up some of New England, uh, but that's about it. So really, whoever gets the Republican nomination really wins the presidency. Uh, so at this time, things were decided through a congressional caucus, where basically the caucus of congressmen would decide who would get the nominee of their respective party, right, uh, Federalist or, or Republican. So the Republican contest was between the uh, was between James Monroe, a former anti-Federalist who had really just become Madisonian, and William Crawford of Georgia. He was from Virginia. He moved to Georgia. Um, he, in many ways, was sort of the old Republicans' uh, hope. He was a small government in certain respects, and so they were kind of hoping that, okay, we could get him, we could uh, secure, you know, maybe have some sort of return to, um, to, to, to what we want. Just, you know, he, he, he's our best option. Uh, there's a couple issues um, with, with this. One, William Crawford basically says he's going to run, says he's not going to run. Uh, then he basically agrees to let Monroe become the nominee with the expectation that eight years from now, he'll be the chosen one. You don't never run your life off of promises. This is always a big issue. Another important point, I don't talk about this in my book. This is one of the things that got cut. So I find this whole thing fascinating. So William Crawford was secretary of war at this time. And right before the caucus, he announced uh, some sort of policy. He announced the policy with how to best deal with the the Indian question in the Southwest at this time period. You know, the Southwest, Western Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi. You know, parts of Tennessee. You know, around this part. So he said, we "We're getting these issues. Uh, we're, we're getting these problems where settlers are getting into fights with, uh, with with Indians over land ownership and all of this stuff. That's a fascinating story. So William Crawford's solution was he said, well." Um, he takes a very like progressive so response. He says, we should just engage in interracial marriage. Like that's the way we resolve these conflicts. We'll just, we'll just marry, we'll just marry the Indians. And his, his rationale is, is really funny because he says, look, we're already letting in all of these immigrants from Europe. He's referring to Irish people. So he's like, we're, we're marrying the Irish. We might as well marry the Indians, right? Like that's the, the solution. And Crawford has this, this proposal that like just mortifies people in Virginia. They're like, what? So that was one reason why at uh, the tail end, he basically did not get the nominee in, in, the, in the caucus was he sort of sabotages himself with this perfectly reasonable plan uh, that's just like it's just it's it's just way too far ahead for the year 1816. Uh, but yeah, there's no Crawford, and then we get stuck with Monroe, which is kind of unfortunate. But I, I, I I've always been a Crawford fan. Um, I, I I like him. He's he's a good guy, and we'll we'll talk more about him in the election of 1824.